happy morning <laughs> happy groovy morning after a little night out good sleep in the year good sleeps in the year that's good hi Lenny and Al we're in the Kootenays here in British Columbia and it's been now almost a year living in this yurt and how is it we love it <laughs> It's uh, beautiful. It's very, very beautiful. Um, it feels extremely healthy. It feels humble. It feels gorgeous and luxurious at the same time. Um, it feels uh, very safe. And it's a shelter that gives us, I don't know, protection and inspiration. Oh, good sleeps. <laughs> I love when the moonlight comes through and um, we've been really blessed with it. Uh, we've, we've slept well, it made it through the winter. Did I, did, I'm sorry, did I actually hear you that you're building multi-million dollar homes and didn't you tell your customers that you'd prefer living in a yurt? <laughs> uh, it's one of my favorite jokes. Yeah, I, I'm in construction <laughs> and I build homes. And often people ask you, what would you do if it was your house? And uh, my favorite answer now is uh, I just buy a yurt and, uh, <laughs> and solve most of your problems. Because you're actually, you, you acquired that yurt to, um, to fix this property that you, uh, this beautiful place that you got last year and renovate this, this home over there. So that was the purpose and um, so now are you planning to live in the yurt instead or? <laughs> yeah, we're not actually, you can see the renovations we've kind of stopped on and it's, it's, it's yurt living. Okay, and that's my, a couple more. that's the yurt's fault, Lini, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so can you tell me a little bit, you, first of all, you did set up that yurt on your own, huh? so it, it is possible. You use oh, the absolutely. videos? Yeah, like it was actually really nice because last year when the yurts arrived, I think he delivered four or five in this area yep. and independently we didn't even know of the other people but uh, Jose came like one other person that got a yurt and she already got the experience from you how to raise it and uh, she gave us some tips and then I showed up when you were raising uh, just to get a few ideas and then we had friends right and your videos yeah uh, it, it, there was so much resources so many resources that you know when in doubt we you were available and then we watched lots of videos you we, we, we love the videos oh okay well then, thank you if you're <laughs> if you're used to the to my franglish and uh, and don't hate oh, it that, that's it, good Charlie. so can we have a little look uh, at the at the yard sorry it's not like i didn't really clean up Oh, it looks very clean to me. <laughs> so, yeah, so a bed, bedroom, storage. This is like entrance. So you just got this little furniture thing for shoes, and then little wardrobe here. And we just hang little things. And then, um, yeah, this is my office over there. It looks so spacious. Yeah, and then we decided on just a pillow kind of thing. There's a little mattress for when. Els kids come and they stay here and just a small little and then we have this this French door to open up so, so you put a wall of window we have one open section and two uh, let's see if I can see the mountains through it not today <laughs> and you also have a kitchen actually it looks yeah, spectacular I, I didn't even kitchen. look yesterday yeah I bought a little kitchen we just put some plywood on it it's not that organized yet but it's uh more for like morning, making tea and coffee, and we still cook in the house right now. Because you, I, yeah, you do have the, the the house as a as a backup. Yeah. May I ask you what is what were your your biggest challenges uh, in this uh, past three four seasons? Um, I think one of the things is this is a stove that we just recycled from the house, and the and it just didn't didn't um, burn through the night so in the morning it got a little bit colder and so a, a good stove is, is worth it uh, what were the challenges do you have two layers of felt one layer okay. one layer of yeah, felt one layer of felt and I think well we had minus 20 um, for a little se section it was it was colder I have to say 
The mornings were cold, but that was mostly because the stove would go out. Yeah, it's more the stove. But it's so cozy in bed. And it was hard to get out of bed because it was so cold. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you, I slept like really well. I'd say. What were the other challenges? We had to sh we had to rake the snow. Yeah. But it was very easy. We had a um, just a very easy walk around. But I found if we didn't, then it iced up. It would warm. Absolutely. And then it would freeze, and then we get big icicles. Um, Raking the snow is definitely recommended. To, yeah. It will help the the year to breathe. Yeah. And <clears throat> I didn't. There, there were a couple of little. Um, uh, humidity points at the, the edges the corner of the windows and this will be fixed with the way we we now install the um, the, the awnings and that will disappear you could just spray uh vinegar or bleach and the yeah, the, and the stains will disappear yeah. and there's another one here and we were yeah. thinking it might be the overlay of the tyvex maybe that came undone or something we haven't really taken it apart yet but an easy fix easy fix totally easy fix so and, yeah go ahead and it, i think that the felt also absorbs moisture and then when you have a wood stove going it dries it out again so it's like this natural breathable so you do have a kitchen and uh that produces a lot of humidity so you you, you were mindful of it did you ventilate through the roof where uh, we that's don't okay store it. i mean we don't really cook here i mean all there is on on, on like uh, moisture is like a cup of tea in the morning kind of thing right um i don't think that moisture was an issue no when the stove does such a good job it was dry it almost got uh, like a sauna we'd come in and yeah, it was like really hot so cozy mm -hmm. so cozy like t-shirt t-shirts in the winter right it was massage and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> say no more okay well fabulous thank you so much uh Lenny and al and happy your thing thank you thank yeah, you thank you're you right. for bringing this to, to <laughs> north america it's like amazing for... I'll pass the message to Bata and the family. Yeah. You rock. Yeah. What a healing place.